is at 7. I am Akan Usen. The Lagos State Government has successfully resumed the second phase of its free medical outreach known as Alafia Eco across 12 designated centers spread over the six health districts of the state. This initiative, which was temporarily halted due to the cholera outbreak that has now been contained, witnessed an overwhelming turnout of uh, elated residents eager to witness a wide range of medical services. Special advisor to the Governor and Health, Kemi Oguyemi, emphasized that the Alafia Eco Initiative under the state's Eco Cares program was designed to address these challenges by providing free healthcare services to all residents. Oguyemi expressed her satisfaction with a turnout, noting that over 700 people had already registered at the Sulu Local Government Secretariat where the program was officially flagged off. She commended the local government for its proactive efforts in adding tuberculosis, TB, and human papillomavirus HPV screenings to the services offered, further enhancing the outreach's impact. Permanent Secretary of the Legal State Ministry of Health, Olusegun Oboye, who was at the old nursing school complex in Ikoyobali in the local council development area, praised the logistical efforts involved in organizing such a large-scale program, noting that the second phase aims to reach an additional 12,000 residents. The Lagos State Government has provided solar power for the command offices of the Lagos State Neighborhood Safety Agency, LNSA, across the 57 local government and local council development areas, speaking at the commissioning of the equipment general manager of LNSA, Ifala de Uyekon, said the purpose of these solar systems is to enhance the work output of operatives and reduce the delivery time, which often used to be longer due to power outages. Uyekon admonished the officers to take ownership and handle the solar equipment like all government properties under the purview with care and use them like their personal properties. The various commands were also provided with additional scooters for mobility and more protective gear to boost their morale. Lagos State Task Force has taken critical steps to curb the escalating challenges posed by roadside vendors and the proliferation of shanties along Mount Tuoki on the Oshudia Papa Expressway. This swift action is part of the planned programs of the chairman of the agency, Aditayo Akirili, to protect and preserve the environment in line with the Themes Plus agenda of the state government, Akirili said, among the most pressing issues addressed was the illegal sale of petrol and diesel by the roadside, where over 2,000 litres of petroleum products were seized. He assured that the Lagos State Task Force remains committed to ensuring the safety and well-being of all residents and operation. The operation is a testament to that commitment, stressing that the agency will continue to monitor the area to prevent the resurgence of illegal activities which impede free flow of traffic. The Lagos State Health Management Agency, LASHMA, has restated its commitment to sensitize residents of the state on the benefits of Iliraiko and the responsibilities of service providers in ensuring the protection of the rights of consumers under the Lagos State Health Scheme, LSHS. Permanent Secretary LASHMA, Emanuela Zamba, said this at a media party jointly organized by the Lagos State Health Management Agency, LASHMA, and the Lagos State Consumer Protection Agency, LASCOPA. Zamba said the program was aimed at discussing significant developments, innovations, and consumer protection in health management services across Lagos State in commitment to the Iliraiko scheme, which is now mandatory for all Lagosians in a bid to access quality healthcare delivery in the state. We are having a media parley, which marks the collaboration between the agency and with the Lagos State Consumer Protection Agency. And what this collaboration is all about is to show that Lashna is taking, putting his best foot forward to ensure that even though Mr. Governor has come out to say with the executive order that the social health insurance plan is now mandatory, we want to show consumers that this plan, even though it is now mandatory, 
we are here to serve you. We are going to ensure that you get quality services. We are going to maintain the affordability of the scheme. And we are here to ensure that your rights are not infringed upon. Once you become an Eureka Enrolli, you should be assured of quality services. You should have be sure that the agency has a listening ear. And we are collaborating with this agency who is responsible for consumer protection. The general manager of Las Copa, Afola Bisholebo, noted that the agency had resolved over 9,000 cases bothering on the protection on, of consumer rights in the state. Shulebo urged beneficiaries of Iliraiko's scheme to seek redress through the agency whenever their rights had been infringed upon by service providers or they did not get value for their money. The bottom line is that if any of these uh, either private or public um, hospitals are keen into this scheme, we expect quality and quality and standard uh, services being rendered to the beneficiaries who we refer to as uh, consumers. So I think it's a very laudable thing and uh, the, the public should be well assured that the legal state consumer protection will always protect their rights no matter who is involved and no matter who talks is God, that is uh, rendering quality and standard uh, services to members of the public. In their testimonials, beneficiaries of the health insurance scheme commended the Lagos State government for the initiative which had brought succor by addressing the health challenges of residents as well as staff of both private and public organizations. So I registered all of our employees on the platform uh, since over a year now and it's been wonderful. People should go register. The price is so uh, affordable and um, as a matter of fact, one of our staff gave birth on the program through CS and the hospital that she had access to was very premium and I was like, for so little that we paid, she was able to have access to this um, type of level of um, LK. It's really good. So it's something that I recommend for every location that they should go out there and subscribe for. This junction, I'm advising all negotiation. Nigeria has become a structured society. The best you know, the best you can take advantage of your society. I can tell you, your health is secured for the next one year. We all know what health challenges people are going through in their world. They urged the agency not to relent in its efforts at ensuring quality service delivery to Lagosians. The Lagos State Employment Trust Fund, LSETF, and the United States African Development Foundation, USADF, have signed a Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, to uplift the lives of citizens, especially those in vulnerable and underserved communities. Commissioner for Wealth Creation and Employment, Akiyemi Ajibotafe, Ajibotafe emphasized that the event aims to forge a powerful partnership symbolizing collective commitment to uplifting the lives of the citizens. Ajibot Affair underscored the remarkable achievement in previous collaborations, including engagement with 41 government-approved training institutions and the training of over 105,000 beneficiaries across various sectors and trades. And that's all for the state news at 7. Just before we go, slow down at road junctions, intersections and pedestrian crossings. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms on X at Traffic Radio 961, Facebook Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM, Instagram Lagos Traffic Radio 961. On YouTube, subscribe and watch us live on our channel, Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website on www.trafficradio961.ng. <laughs> Did you know that the Songwulu administration completed the Lekki Free Trade Zone jetty and offloading platform? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government's website. For contact with the newsroom, please send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. And that ends the news broadcast compiled by Adiswa Ejoyoka. I am Akan Usen. Thanks for listening and please stay safe. Good evening.